Bill Maher, right? Everybody know Bill Maher, for example? He's a radical left maniac with modest television ratings. Right? I thought I could wind up in Guantanamo Bay. I think I still could. I mean, he's, he's, he was ranting about me all last week again. He's obsessed sometimes. I don't know. He went on a tear for about eight months when he was president. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. So here's the issue when you're trying to argue with somebody from across the aisle or looking at somebody on the left is that there is such a massive superstructure, machine ecosystem that controls and completely isolates the audiences of the left uh, inside of a sort of bubble of lies. It, it, there's lies. They, they don't believe, they don't live inside of an evidence-based world. I, on this program, for instance, have regularly said when I got it wrong, admitted things that I did in the past or believed in the past that I think are, are, are wrong or embarrassing, uh, and, and that just, like, don't add up to today. That don't like, that, you know, you, you put the evidence and the data together and you're like, nah, that, that didn't actually work. I'm, I'm embarrassed that I believed that thing, right? There is no ecosystem for that on the left. Every hoax, every single thing that has been like, sort of cast down on high from the intel agencies who run these corporate media outlets it get it gets like solidified carved into stone and then those people the, the people who like are just like little birdies in the nest you like you know getting it vomited into their face like they just have to, they just have to eat it and they just believe it unquestioningly plugged in the matrix right that's why that allegory works and that's on pure display right now as bill maher who's many would argue is one of the more open-minded liberals out there right now, even though I, he's like more woke than he is actually liberal. But anyway, Bill Maher is doing a book tour right now and going on uh, Fox News and going on Megyn Kelly's show and stuff. And he's getting confronted with like harsh realities. And it's like the machine breaks when you go outside the bubble just by like a little deviation. You know, so Megyn Kelly, nobody would like claim Megyn Kelly is some like, MAGA hat wearing, right wing zealot. Megyn Kelly, you know, worked at corporate media her entire life, worked at NBC News. So, like, Megyn Kelly is not that person. Yet, Megyn Kelly is able to, like, fact check and gut check Bill Maher because he's outside of his bubble in moments like this. Like, Bill Maher saying that Donald Trump uh, won't concede the election. Uh, okay, weird that you didn't say anything about Stacey Abrams, Hillary Clinton. Al Gore, nothing, nothing. Joe Biden saying that Al Gore is the president of the United States. Bill Clinton saying Al Gore is the president of the United States, that George Bush stole it. Bill Maher, silent as the grave on those kind of issues. Not when Megyn Kelly's- Hillary Clinton, of course, is the original election denier. I'm sure you voted for her in 16. Well, she's not an election denier. She, she absolutely was the OG election denier. She, first of all, she came out before the sun had risen to concede the election to Trump. And then spent the next four years saying he was illegitimate. He was an illegitimate president. She, okay, well, first of all, saying, she didn't say he was an illegitimate. Yes, well, she did. You tell me exactly what she said. She said those exact words repeatedly. I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. Okay, uh, I mean, she conceded the election. Whether, uh, whether you're interpreting her uh, disappointment at, win at losing it uh, as the same thing as Trump not conceding it, I don't know that, if that's where you're getting it from. But again, it's a tremendous false equivalency. You could ask Hillary Clinton right now, who won that election? She will tell you. Donald Trump won now the election. Now she knows she has to because of what she, Trump has she done. She came out that night she in, her, in her dark the election. purple suit and conceded the election. Correct. Something and, then spent the la and then spent the next four years trying to convince us it was not legitimate. You can run the best campaign. You can even become the nominee. And you can have the election stolen from you. Way to go, Megyn Kelly. Way to go, Megyn Kelly. Bill Clinton still spreads Hillary Clinton's Russian collusion hoax with her revisionist history of the 2016 election, just another Bill and Hillary's life helps cover up her lies. They, there's actually an entire cottage industry of left-wing lies. Like for instance, that uh, Trump supporters killed cops on January 6th. That is false. Bill Maher has never had anybody check that fact to him until now. January 20th, 2025, he'll show up at the White House, whether he's invited or not. 
And I don't think that's going to be good. We're, I, we're, we're now, gonna, he's going to bomb in if, be, he, if he lost? Yeah, yes. <laughs> be, oh, yeah. Bomb is a word I wouldn't even throw around lightly. Oh, stop it. He's not going to do that. Right. Like there was never an attack on the Capitol. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. But he's that not going never to show happened. up at the inauguration. Like they didn't show up at the Capitol and break windows and, and knock down doors and kill cops and chase. They didn't do that. And ch- they didn't break windows. They didn't knock kill down- cops. They, of course, did. No, they didn't. Who did? They died of natural causes that day? Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, the medical examiner, has determined that he suffered two strokes and died of natural causes. Yeah, th- nobody died that day. Cops. No, not true. <laughs> Who? Okay. Who? Oh, I don't remember the names. They didn't. There was Brian Sicknick, who died later after the fact. Of natural causes, and the only person that died that day was somebody who was executed and murdered in cold blood a Trump supporter named Ashley Babbitt. We remember her. We say her name as often as we possibly can. She's the only person who who was summarily executed and killed by Joe Biden's Gestapo. We won't hear Bill Maher, Mr. Bill Maher, the darling of right-wing conservative media ecosystem echo chamber on X, uh, talking about that. Now, Bill Maher is a liar. He claims to be some type of, uh, you know, illuminated, leftist forward thinker, but he's not, he's not, he's the same as, he's the same as all the rest of them. He doesn't live inside of a world of actual data and facts, and demonstrable empirical evidence and good, good on Megyn Kelly for gut checking him here. Uh, people are really, really, you know, th- these clips, uh, these clips are going viral and for good reason. Uh, Bill Maher did take a moment to bash Biden. B- Bill Maher has, he doesn't like Biden. Okay, so he's made that very, very clear. And so people seize onto those moments like little nuggets that we can we can share. But Bill Maher is like fully Trump deranged and is somebody who's, you know, it's this is not somebody who is an honest arbiter, right? This is not like an honest intellectual conversation. This is somebody who has an agenda. I should be asking themselves, why does Trump each election do better, not worse yeah. with minorities and immigrants? Not not worse, better. Did better in 2020 than 2016 and seems to be doing better this time. That's a question Democrats really need to look in the mirror and ask themselves. And with the immigrants, I think I know the answer. I'll save them the trouble. Um, immigrants don't like it that the left seems to have this unrelenting negativity toward the country that these immigrants worked so hard to get here. Mm, good point. They really worked hard to get here. And when Trump says shithole, it's a shithole, <laughs> I think a lot of them are going, yeah, you're fucking right, it's a shithole where I came from. Why do you think I got on the ocean <laughs> on a raft or walked a thousand miles because I was living in paradise? There are places <laughs> that are shitty in this world and the immigrants know it. And you know, it's not corny or conservative to say that you sh- to acknowledge that you are lucky if you're living in this country at this moment in history. So, watching that clip here, good for you. I I agree with everything he said there. And this is the weird thing about Bill Maher is, is like looking through the you know looking through the viewfinder. Uh, you don't know which Bill Maher you're going to get. Because that's Bill Maher that I would tend to completely agree with, that people here really do take the country for granted and um, should go experience life in Cuba, North Korea, Venezuela, or just like literally anywhere else. And you'll be pining, longing, begging to come back to America quickly, really fast. And Bill Maher's right about those kind of things. I just wish he, wish he could synthesize uh, outside of the sort of machine and mechanism that it controls leftist thought. Now, Bill Maher also went on left-wing media, like The View, uh, where he <laughs> immediately sort of lit the entire stage on fire by saying that Joe Biden is Dracula. Well, you know, not that I have so much power, and, and you have some more than, we, than I do, obviously, but oh, I don't know about that. are you afraid that you might, you know, inc- influence the people who are on the fence? I, I think you lose all credibility. I, I do. I mean, my bond with my audience has always been I don't pull a punch. Yeah. My bond with my audience is you're not going to like everything I say, yeah. but you know I'm saying what I really think is true. Right. That's, and that's... Okay. Yeah. okay. And look... I mean, Biden just presents as old. It's yeah. not really fair. 
No. Because he's almost the same age. Uh, Trump is almost the same age yeah, as him. I know. But Trump doesn't present that way. You know, you look at somebody right away, you can kind of just sum them up. I mean, we are not young, but we don't present as old. Yeah. Biden does. I saw him yesterday making that speech. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. He's cadaver like. But his brain but, is good. He's still great. Uh, well, here's what I said. Like, when I came back after the strike in September, I said he should get out because he's just lost the faith of people. It's not fair. He's actually done a pretty good job. Yeah. But I said he's going to be Ruth Bader Biden. That's the yeah. term I use. Mm -hmm. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She stayed yeah. too long at the fair. So, wrong. He hasn't done a great job. He's done a miserable job. Bill Maher just a second ago was talking about how immigrants coming here don't want people like Joe Biden to talk about how terrible a country it is and don't want the left to wreck the country. It's funny. He's like so close. Bill Maher is so close, but he, he refuses to make that last synaptic jump. But that's okay. We can make it for him here on this program. Uh, Bill Maher, uh, final takeaway on this. The leftists, le leftists refuse to debate and refuse to go outside of that comfort zone because that m machinery has been built and it's so comfortable in there. I like they, they refuse to go outside of that. And so it, I'm glad that he's doing Fox. He's got kind of roasted on Fox News and he got roasted there with Megyn Kelly. And, but good on him because most most don't do that. And so at the very least, like we'll accept that the conversation and opening up the dialogue is like a, is a good thing. And you'll only find one side that wants to do that. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share and subscribe.